big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks. He's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker. One of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Chief. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the O2 Arena in London, England. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, Bam Bam. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce, the Dragon Lee! Okay, could take yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. A uh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Attempts the front kick there. Oh, beautiful execution with the knee strike there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a beautiful strike like that knee with? We'll see very shortly. Let me see that hook now. Just out of range with that strike. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. As he gets close and he's out of the kicking range, he'll suddenly he'll change his stance. Oh, nice straight. That'll work. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Nice kick. Oh, nice. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Under three minutes now to go in the round. 
Oh, nice punch there by Lee. Straight right hand now just misses. Oh! Head kick! Hands higher! Hands higher! Lee's hook to the body was blocked. Right idea, wrong execution. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Three minutes have elapsed here in round one. Trying to kick the leg out. Nice kick. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg And kick. now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Lee's kick to the body is blocked. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Ooh, big shot land. Just out of range with that right hand. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Five minutes in the books. All right, no telestrator for the champ tonight, but that's okay. He'll still talk you through the replays. Body kicks for days, man. I mean, body kicks for days, but I got to be honest, John. If we don't incorporate a telestrator uh -huh. into this game, this may be my only version of EA UFC. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets ended. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Lee gets caught with that punch. Let's go, guys, work. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. It's a beautiful, fast, quick jab with beating. It's such a fast leg kick. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Big kick lands. 
Just over three minutes to go. Straight punch lands. Well, he walked into his opponent's range there and ate that hook. He was unprotected, unguarded, and he's been susceptible to that hook in previous UFC fights. Got to figure out a way to move those feet and ultimately circle out and get that head off the center line. Strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Beautiful punch. Straight punch is going to be a real problem if they can't make the adjustment. A real problem. He needs to move his head defensively if he's going to avoid getting hit so many times to the face. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter round. Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Good punch, Lance. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Now to go in the round. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Fifteen seconds. Beautiful strike. He loaded up there on that high kick. Oh, big left. How about those five minutes? A lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right? kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him, too. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Dig and kick. Oh, 
Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're gonna have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Nice punch lands over the top. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Oh, and he caught the kick. His opponent's got him in the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range because he's taking punch after punch from this clinch position. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Try to establish that jab. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. And he switches his stance yet again. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Nice one-two there. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Lee's hook shot blocked, though, by the defense. Nice job getting that guard up to prevent any further damage. Trying to establish that jab once again. That one blocked by the defense. Oh, and he caught the kick. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it certainly did. Good punch. Oh, damage done. Bleeding from his cheek now. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, what a head kick home. And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. It was coming high. And now he's got him hurt bad. Punches blocked. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that offer. Oh, that's a nice strike. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Nice counter shot there. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. He is throwing his entire hip into his body shot. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. All right, let us get you some highlights from that previous round, DC. And how about just the, the sheer volume of head kicks for him? I don't know why this dude's energy bar isn't completely zapped. You can't throw that many head kicks over the course of a fight. But I guess if you're landing them, you might as well keep doing them. All right, here we go with our next round. His opponent is going to need some Motrin later tonight. How about all those strikes to the head he absorbed in the previous round? He is not moving his head. He's trying to walk forward. He's a pressure fighter, sure, but he's trying to walk forward with no head movement, and he is paying the price for it but by getting hit over and over in the face. Blocks that strike. 
Ooh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Lee. Just out of range with that left hook. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Nice body. Effective punch there by Lee. So once again, leaning on that long reach as he counters effectively with a jab to the head. Ooh, blocks the shot. Powerful leg kick land. Nice straight punch. Huge block there. Just over three minutes to go. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Oh, flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, and making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Great punch landed with so much power. Lee's cut is getting worse here. Man, is that bleeding. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Look at the turnover in that kick. Uppercut there, blocked by Lee. Two minutes now to go. Cable inches right there, yeah. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. What a tricky head kick. Punch over the top. Oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. Oh, man, head kick land. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. and it's blocked. Boy, Ty Plum. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Oh, big head kick lands. No kill on that leg kick. 20 seconds left. He blocks the punch. Final seconds of round four. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action 
when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going here. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Right hand on point. Spinning back fist, didn't see that one coming. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Pretty significant well to the left side. Beautiful leg kick thrown. What a punch. He lands the head kick. And he caught the kick. There, no pat on that foot. No shit guard. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws it. Well, he's got to be on top of the world, dominating this fight. The stamina still on point. He didn't skip those Versa Climber days, that's for sure. No, this has to feel good. This has to feel like everything we did in training camp has worked to perfection. Look for him to try to replicate that for his next fight. Oh! Three minutes now to go to decide this one. Slips the punch. Ooh, what a head kick. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. Johnny does it. It doesn't feel good to get kicked. Oh, roundhouse kick. Slips the punch nicely there. Real quick leg kick. Nice loop and punch. Oh, big head kick. Oh, uppercut to the head, but it's blocked there by Lee. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Under two minutes now to go in the fight. Real sneaky body kick. Win this round. We need you to get the oh. 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 that punch right there. His opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finish or you're getting an L? This is when you gotta go to the Nate Diaz mentality. Kill or be killed. You gotta throw everything at your opponent because if this thing goes to the judges, you are not gonna win this fight. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Just missed with the left there. And plenty of time with which to work. 30 seconds to go in the round. Pretty strong jab there by Lee. 20 seconds to go in the fight. Oh, 
Oh, looked like that left hand found the target. Found the target as it has on so many occasions tonight. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. What a fight. All right, so as we await the judges' scorecards, DC will look back at his handiwork. He had it all going from a striking standpoint tonight. Man, he did a great job. It was very entertaining to watch someone be in such a great state of flow, a great flow state in regards to the stand-up. He said that tonight we would be very impressed with his performance, and I am thoroughly impressed. See how the judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 49-46. The winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon.